go Dave the bantamweight belt the vacant bantamweight title here at Fight UK is on the line in the amateur division we've got Joe Rice in the blue and red shorts against Darren Higgins in the black shorts with the Brazilian flag on them both undefeated fighters coming out of great gyms this is sure to be an absolute cracker definitely Ben and both fighters looking very relaxed pre-fight Fighters moving around the outside, it's Rice who throws a kick there. Higgins looking very relaxed in this, this position. Throws in a nice jab and comes in over the top. Both fighters content. Just to stand outside of range a little bit. Higgins caught the kick there but wasn't really sure whether to follow it up or hang back and look for a counter. And that's a nice leg kick from Higgins. Higgins definitely looking for that big overhand right then, I think. I think he sees it can come against Rice. Higgins looking to jab and move. Throwing some nice leg kicks there. We talked about it at the start, a nice takedown from Rice. Really disguised that well for me. He looks to hoist his man up and get him straight to the canvas. That was very well set up for me, Dave. Excellent stuff from Joe Rice as he moves into the mount position. And lands a few big shots and now he's almost looking to take the back if he can from here. Corner of UTC from Darren Higgins shouting for him to turn into it. As I say that Rice scrambles over the top and takes the back standing and goes to lock the rear naked choke in. Higgins looking at two hands on one fight as his corner is saying there he's taking he's stripping away the top hand which is the defense in this position but what an aggressive start from Rice. He gets that hands free, Ben. I think he's going to look to go palm to palm with this. Certainly one variation, or even the, the rear naked neck crank, as it called. He could pull his head across, try and execute the chin a little bit. Higgins in a real tough spot here. And he looks to turn around. It looks like he's got the single there. He's done a very good job there. He's got to be careful of the neck. Higgins is corner talent and maybe looks some knees from this position. Very underutilized weapon, but very effective in terms of giving a fighter something else to think about. As Higgins strains to complete the takedown, but Rice showing good defense. It's a real technical affair up against the cage here, Dave. Certainly, both fighters showing excellent grappling skills. Joe Rice, especially in the scrambles, Ben looking very lively. Excellent takedown defense from Joe Rice. He switches his man back around and pushes Higgins up against the cage. Higgins, for me, Dave, looks, almost looks the more physically imposing fighter and hardly surprising when we think of the fact that he's dropping down. This is his first time at Bantamweight, dropping down from featherweight. An all-action first round here. Rice making the early go and he's got to watch out for that knee. Looks a little bit low. Right on the end there. Referee Dean Weir just having a word with Higgins, telling him to watch those knees. A very close first round. 
And a great start from Rice. Looked at times, Dave, as if he wasn't far from finishing that fight when he had that rear naked choke from the standing position. Certainly, Ben. Higgins showed great skill to get out of those transitions, but at that point in time, Joe Rice was all over him. Excellent work from Joe Rice. For me, he did enough to take that round. He had the big takedown, Ben, and obviously had his man in trouble with the rear naked choke attempt. Let's be honest, Dave, I mean, we can only speculate as to what the judges are thinking, but a very close round, very back and forth in a lot of respects. The big action coming from Rice, but Higgins himself having some success, getting the takedown, turning out of that position. Real technical exchanges on the fence. Fighters often criticised for working on the fence, chokingly labelled wall and stall, those kind of tactics. There was no such action from both fighters as they both exchanged takedown positions and aggressive submission situations as well. Joe Rice joking with his corner in between rounds as he was before the fight, so no sign of nerves here in this title contest. A very close fight, what you'd expect here at Fight UK when you've got two really well matched, great young bantamweights fighting for that title. Even at amateur level, Dave, the titles here at Fight UK mean so much. Neither fighter wanted to make that mistake. Rice countering nicely with a nice crisp right hook there as Higgins came in and flicked the jab out. Higgins back to those leg kicks. Higgins needs to pull that left hand up, Ben. He looks open to an overhand right. It's a very good spot, David. It's a classic sign of fatigue in a lot of respects. The first thing you see from fighters is that the hands drop. Rice's corner calling for hands and feet. Wanting to put those combinations together. He looks for that big loop in overhand right, and I think that punch is there for him, Ben. So often we've seen fighters countered with that. Higgins lands another leg kick. I've said it before, Dave, but I'd hate to be a judge trying to score this one. A very close exchange on the feet. No fire. We're really trying to get a, a clear advantage. And as I say that, Rice lands with probably the most significant fight shot of the round. Yep, and it was that right hand, Ben. It's definitely there for him. As you see, Higgins' hands very low now. He's firing those jabs from his waist quite a lot. And when the hand comes back, Dave, it's not coming back high. It's coming back downwards. A crisp counter as, as Rice showed that he's capable of there. And there it is, that reaping right hand. And here Higgins is corner from UTC, screaming for him to get his hands up. They've noticed this, the situation as well, and straight in for a takedown. Nicely set up again. And another big takedown. That is a very clever fire. A fire like Joe Rice, 2 0, Dave. That's incredible. Good sticking to a, a disciplined game plan. Absolutely superb from Joe Rice. He's mixing up on the feet with kicks and punches. And then just when his man starts to get comfortable, takes him right down. And now in the half guard, looking to land strikes. Looking to pass that leg through if he can. Higgins holding on from this situation in the half guard, trying to minimize the damage. But what Rice has done for me, Dave, he's put an exclamation point on what was before then a very close round. Certainly, Ben. For me, I, I've got Joe Rice. He's definitely nudging it in the stand-up exchanges. He landed that big right hand. He landed some heavy-looking leg kicks. And now, as you say, dominating on the ground, looking to pass that guard. There's some nice shots coming through. Just 10 seconds left. Higgins looking to scramble back to his feet. But Rice lands some good shots there. Both exchange up in the cage. I think Rice smells a bit of blood. And what a fantastic finish to that round. Beautiful uppercut in in that combination there from Joe Rice. I'm so impressed with Joe Rice, Ben, not only with the skills he's showing, like you alluded to earlier, the game plan of Rice, he's mixing it up brilliantly. And for Darren Higgins, he's now wondering, where does he go in this round, Ben? Does he keep it stood up? Because he seemed to struggle with Rice in the grappling department. It's a very, very close fight, and I think the fact that Rice has come forward and initiated the takedowns has kind of almost taken it out of... Higgins' hands, really, it's, it, his fight isn't his to kind of dictate. He feels like he's being pushed back. Rice is timing the overhand right. He's landed a couple of them. Higgins will almost be questioning, like you say, what he's got to do. Where does he take this fight? Does he look to get the takedown and maybe land some shots from the top? Because on, on the feet, 
He's landing a selection of leg kicks, but the danger's always there from that overhand right from Joe Rice. Yeah, and it's obviously the, the corner man's job. Excellent team there over at UTC. They need to be telling him, listen, you're open to that right hand because Joe Rice has come close on a couple of occasions. He's clipped him once. If he lands big, it could finish the fight. And let's be honest, Dave, from Higgins' point of view, his corner in the UTC, very experienced, Jim. A great bunch of guys for him to work with. They're surely going to be telling Higgins, look, one round definitely, potentially two rounds in the hole. You're going to have to go for broke here. And maybe that's what we'll see as Higgins comes forward. Rice once again calmly, and there's a nice knee. The two exchanging the clinch. Oh, Higgins swinging wild there, doesn't quite catch his man. Rice oh, he's letting the hands go now, and this is what he needed to do. But a beautiful counter from Rice, Dave. Brilliant Higgins work. came in, knew he had to come forward and make this fight kind of happen almost. But the problem with someone like Higgins is, is he came forward like that. You do half your opponent's work for him when you're rushing forward. Rice only had to cut down half the distance and shot underneath beautifully with that well-timed takedown. And now he's on the top and he'll be looking to dictate the pace. It really shows how important the mental side of the game is. Higgins, I think he had Joe Rice hurt. But he, as you say, he got a little over-anxious. And Joe Rice, he knew he was hurt, secured the takedown, and now he looks to work that top position again. Rice finds himself in the side control position and now he'll be looking to work from here, maybe step over with the left leg if he can. Or just to land strikes. I mean these shorter rounds in the amateur ranks, it doesn't give fighters a lot a lot less time a lot of time to work in these situations. Looking for a dart spin, I think. He does it like he's trying to thread the hands through to get the dart there. Needs to grab his own bicep and pull forward. This is a very, very tight choker referee team. We're taking a close look at the situation. I just don't think he can thread the hands through. For the man calls for his fight to go perpendicular. And he's locked that choke on, we can see. Referee Dean Wee taking a very close look at the situation. The hand looks like it's almost ready to tap. But I think that gap is just, we saw a big deep breath of air from Higgins there. I think that gap just kept him alive there, Dave, when he needed it too. So it's a catch-22 situation, Ben, how long as Joe Rice do you hold on to this choke? Because obviously it's sapping his own energy in his arms, trying to secure this dust. Now in the half guard position. Rice on top. Looking to get that right leg through if he can. And get the mount situation, try and finish this round in a dominant fashion. And he's gone through and he elects to go through the half guard. Side control, excuse me, and then push through with Neon Belly. I like the fact that he's rushing his opponent with these transitions. He's not giving him time to think. What a performance from young Joe Rice. Absolutely spectacular performance, Ben, really in every range. He even showed the tie clinch earlier and he moves around to take the back of Higgins. Higgins corner screaming for him to turn into his opponent. And Joe Rice landing some big hammer fists. UTC in the corner down Higgins screaming for him to get up, but with 10 seconds left, there's a big shot coming through. Rice landed some strikes, finishing this in style. This is the way to win a title, Dave. Joe Rice has put on a fantastic performance, and what a bantamweight title fight that was. Crowd on the feet, and rightfully so. What a fight. Absolutely fantastic performance from Joe Rice. Surely on the way to pick up the title, Ben. Absolutely amazing in all ranges. He mixed it up, he secured the takedowns, he showed skills on the feet. Fantastic fight. Credit to Darren Higgins for sticking in there with him, Ben. Darren Higgins showed a lot of heart, especially in the third in that very tough choke. Looked on at certain points, but he just couldn't get the technique perfect as to render his opponent ready to tap or unconscious. But from Rice's point of view, what a performance. The key for me was the timing on those takedowns, Dave. He got one takedown per round, and the timing on them was absolutely spot on. Set up differently. And once there, Ben the work rate was phenomenal you know he's working in the scrambles and the different transitions he, he just never stopped moving Joe Rice
I'm here with Joe Rice, who's just picked up the fight. UK amateur bantamweight title. Joe, what a fantastic fight. Give us your thoughts on the fight. Uh, yeah, a very good fight. Quite, quite back and forth, I thought, but apparently I, I won it every round, so I'm happy with that. I'm happy to do a bit of a stand-up in the fight as well. I haven't really, uh, haven't really stood up with me other opponents, so I'm pleased with it, yeah. Fantastic, and is there anybody you'd like to thank? Uh, yeah, um, Dean Kiss, my who sponsored me. Uh, all the, everyone who comes to watch, everyone who's come to watch me, and uh, my coaches, who, coaches who have come down today, and, that, and my family for when I'm training because I'm miserable as sin. <laughs> That's fantastic, ladies and gentlemen. Joe Rice, your Fight UK amateur bantamweight champion.